Recording. Streaming. Oh, oh, oh partir la musique. Seems like reasonable, reasonable. Okay, cool. CB is there. Hello, buddy. How are you? Excellent. Do we have sound? Wonder. Let's give. Let's try something. I wanna try this. I will remove. So now I cannot hear my environment. Go on Twitch here. Can I find myself? I guess no, huh? Yay! Hey! <laughs> Bunch of robots are landing. My music is loud because I can still hear it my channel there it is I see myself I'm here okay hello hello the music is a little bit loud right that's I'm loud <laughs> Like this. This feel better. Cool. Okay. I don't know what I have today, but I keep dropping my hair button. 
earbuds. Not earbuds, earbuds. Okay, so let's bring back this. Wow, everybody landed. Grovers are us, the real surly bat, the original, the unoriginal uh, jerk, caught by mistake, but I didn't. True story. <laughs> Cloudies are, are more lucky than myself in that. Okay, cool. So we have the sounds, we have the setup kind of. So let's get started. Power off. What? You want me to shut it down or the opposite? What's power off me? In my head is it like turning off. Is it? Hey, Surly, how are you? Happy to see you. Happy Friday. How are you? How was your week? I feel like every time I, I, I ask that, like I'm thinking about Clark, he'll say, what's your win of the week? But I don't want to spoil his trend. So I'm just asking, how was your week? Uh, you know what? Let's kick off this and let's go back into the cloud, into behind my cloud. Let's get started. Hey, bonjour, hi, welcome behind my cloud. I'm Frank Boucher, your host for the next two hours where we learn, we have fun, we play with that little drop game, that InstaFluff code for us, so you can do exclamation point drop to play the game. Uh, ask any question, cloud related, and today since we'll be having fun with Power Platform, feel free to ask and we'll look for the answer together because I'm just getting we, we want to learn today, so I'm, I'm like I saw, like I will share that with you. I saw a video, and I see a great opportunity of creating a bunch of content for a power platform and enabling what they, they, they call that the citizen developer. So people who are less technical, they, they, they don't know how to code, but they're still very creative. They know the business. So power platform enable them. So sometimes as a pro developer, I'm, a, I'm assuming that most of the cloudies here are like very technical, your coder, since, you know, my stream is all about coding. So I feel like now we can build stuff and make it consumable, easy consumable for that platform. I think that's great, right? Like, I feel like when we're building stuff, we want people to use it. So I thought, I, I see that a big opportunity and, and a lot of fun. So uh, that's the plan of today. We have no idea how to do it. Uh, I saw a video and I was like, okay, that's it. That's what I'm doing. I'm ditching everything I was supposed to be doing on stream and let's focus on that. So we have a few cloudies already there. Marcus Voice Coder is here. Hello. You prefer sunshine? What? <laughs> power user? A uh, power user is um, like a, you know, there's regular user who like, let's say on their phone, they're listening music and I don't know, they watch video, they play one game and their power user, they try to push the limit, try to control the light, try to transform their phone to be a remote control, like push the limits and do a lot of things. That's what I call power user. It's people who try really to, they use at the maximum capacity. So look like sorry, sorry to have your butts today are extremely lucky or good. Did you change the algorithm? <laughs> So welcome, Marcus, Mark, welcome, Shirley Dev, and all the other cloudies. Uh, feel free to just lurk, it's fine, but I'm always happy when people are chatting with me. I feel less lonely. User with superpowers. Yeah. Don't forget, they like to end <laughs> digital friends. Sorry, yes, digital friends. And every time I say, but anyway, it sounds like B-U-T-T. So, bot. I need to change the way I speak English. Uh, 
<laughs> attention. You want to give me attention? Well, you if you don't know, if you're new on the stream, welcome. Um, I'm all, not always that excited. I will count down eventually, just still, you know, very energetic in the morning. I'm a morning guy. I'm one of those weird beasts. Um, if you don't know the commands, you can do exclamation point command or exclamation point commands because I always forgot our CMD and you'll have all the list of the possible command to bring the rain, bring the sun, play the drop games, the attention that Sir Dev was doing. So voila, digital friend. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, is this... Where did you get that emoji? That's a cool one. Where did you get that one? Matcha booty? <laughs> oh, yay. Okay. So, let's one more time try the drop game. So, yeah. So, the plan of today. So, we start with the show and, and tell, right? So, I need to do the to do and I, I need to be better at prepping all using CB. CB is our cloud bat. Our digital cloud friend here, there, is watching people, and uh, it's kind of like we we build it on this stream to help me and like be a co-host. But I've, I've not I've not been using him a lot. It hit a lot or him hit. We don't know. Maybe CB is a female digital friend. We don't know. Um. So. About, yes, I want to use the, 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 the to-do list, so I prep some to-do on the top, so because, you know, we, we, need, we, need, we need to know where we're going. So to-do, uh, start, if I can type correctly, start one. Yeah, so now we're starting. More people are lending, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. So uh, digital friends don't use all the luck. We need to keep a little bit if Fragbird is coming on. Okay, so uh, last stream, last week, we did let me show my... No, that's what? That's not what I wanted. I want this. That's what I was looking for. And why it's so low? Oh. What? What's happening? That's not what I want. I wanted something like this, and then maybe, you know, I think that's better. Okay. So, um, yes, last week we work on uh, like practicing, like playing around, learning the, uh, like I've been a big fan of code space dev container because code space is using dev container but i feel like code space by itself like there's so much more potential so like i was like okay let's try to show that a little bit and copilot because everybody needs copilot i think it's so useful to kind of like put the rough of anything kind of scaffold quickly bunch of things or just ask questions so uh this week i don't know if you missed it but it was vs code day big uh, event that happened on Wednesday, I think. Forgot. I think it was Wednesday. Uh, and prior to that, they asked me, hey, Frank, do you want to do some stuff to kind of talk about code space and things like in VS Code? And then I was like, yeah, can I can I talk about all that? So yeah, can you do it in French? I was like, yeah, I can. Uh, so I did it. So last week we, we did have fun uh, kind of looking forward. I need to bring back my mouse. Um, so that was the video we did. So debuté avec code, VS Code, Code Space and Copilot, Ecopilot. So that one is in French. So if you understand French, uh, I invite you to look to that. Uh, it was a Teams call recorded. I think I might redo that in English and kind of split it a little bit. Uh, I, I kind of know. I reached out to uh, like people who were looking for art and say, hey, do you want me to do it again in like a more polished way? Because even like the resolution, sometimes I feel like 
Teams is great to share and stuff when you're on the call, but then for the recording sometimes it's not, I feel like it's not the best one. Uh, so I thought, you know, I could do that. Or if they say, nah, it's fine, then I will probably do it for my own channel. It's been forever since I published video there. So I might publish video there to how to get started with uh, Codespace. Codespace is great to work online, but sometimes you don't want that. So then like how to bring that code space locally uh, and how I use Copilot. So that's just like a 30 second stuff, but how do you, can you install it and add it to your dev environment? So maybe I will do that. Uh, if you are interested, go to that video. Oh, I should do like a, yeah, I should do note. Um, let's do something like this. I mean, like I said, I need to be better at this and then the URL. Because we have, CB is keeping track of everything we, we do here. And uh, he's putting that in the show notes. So behind my cloud, uh, that's the website. And uh, like, see, like playing, I was just talking about it. So playing with Codespace, Codespace Pilot part two, and we did it here, having fun, learning stuff. And it, it's fun because between the two, I, I spoke with some people and they fixed some error, error, sorry, we found. So it was very active people over there. So yeah, behind my cloud, all the show notes are, are there. Uh, and uh, any projects that you are interested to follow, you could go by projects. So there's the list of all the projects and let's say you want to, Hey, you know, I want to see, uh, I don't know, like the cloud, bot, how we build CB. So you could click there. So there it is a quick explanation of the project and all the stream we did that are related to the cloud, bot. so for every project, it's like that all stream are kind of grouped together. So you could follow them, uh, piece by piece. And that make me think. I completely forgot to prepare something, but yeah, today is the 200 stream. Where can I have a sound effect? Let's do, where is it? This one. Yay. Awesome. 200 stream, 200. That's, that's cool. So yeah, so that was the first uh, show and tell. I want to tell you debut avec Visual Studio Code. Uh, that was one thing. And then yesterday I saw this and uh, so that's one of the video of VS Code Day uh, and it's about like has a pro code you could develop connectors and I was like I, I need to test that so I will again put that information in a chat thank you Marcus I can, I'm I'm kind of happy I like I, I was streaming more uh at the earlier so twice a week and i went out for a little while and now i'm back with only one may start doing twice I, and i will have like two project or something like that one more maybe um like uh less i don't know like i, I need to figure how i want to do that because i'm coding sometimes it's like hey why don't don't i turn on the camera but Right now I'm standing, there's a lot of lights. Uh, it's the morning for me, but sometimes I code in the evening. So I was like, oh, maybe I could code in the evening and at the same time tap in another audience that I usually don't talk too much. But maybe that one will be a different vibe, more like less light. Uh, maybe I will have like a, some beverage. So like I'm, I'm like, I'm not sure how I'm, I, I would do that. So uh, I need, I need to think, but I may go back to two stream a week. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm always loving that. I, I was doing before a lot of YouTube video and it was great. I feel like I was really helping a lot of people with my YouTube video, but it's really hard to get interaction with people when you're on YouTube, except if you're doing live. So I was doing like pre record video. So that's why I started Twitch. Say, so, hey, I want to show for, I want to get back the feedback as I'm doing stuff and helping question other developer to do the same thing I'm doing. But also sometime when I was meeting, going to event, people think like, 
I don't, I, I don't do any mistakes. Uh, I know everything that I'm a human compiler. And I was like, no, 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 no. Like I, I Google with Bing with like everybody. I spend time on Stack Overflow like everybody. I watch other YouTube video like everybody. And uh, I learn even if I've been doing that for many years. Um, you could be super good in like the one thing you do, but like that past project that is maybe just one month behind or like six months behind, as time pass, you kind of forget what it is. So like maybe you're back and say, oh yeah, like how is the connection? How do we establish a safe connection to that database again? And like you're, you know, you need to look back and uh, it's okay. I think that's fine. So the goal of this stream is show BI my cloud, like the making of, of other things. Um, and just having fun also okay so enough blah blahing i want to i want to get started today so just want to make sure i have this so the, is it possible and then the url i'm looking down i have two screen i'm not sure i like that much that setup but um this is right now an easy way for me to stream on linux uh in a linux environment i'm still using my windows machine to stream uh, I don't think that little laptop could manage a stream. So right now I'm like having a two PC setup, like a very, I have a tiny little uh, laptop. It's running Linux, Ubuntu. Um, and I like to do that because at the same time I'm trying that environment, uh, like trying the tools, the Microsoft tool that are supposed to be working on Linux and things like that. So I'm kind of like walking the talk at the same time. And I like Linux. I like both. I like Windows and Linux. So this way I can. And I'm enjoying switching environment and like seeing that everything is following. Cool. So that's the video inspiration. There's always comments, but it can be an eye Yeah, comments. But like then when you do comments, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like comments are great. And I, I, I try, I do my... Uh, I tried my best uh, to respond quickly to all the comments. I used to be better. Uh, now it's not that there is so much uh, comments. It's just that I focus, I focus. I've been less involved in my YouTube video, uh, but I think that will that will change now. My role changed a little bit at work, and now I think I will be more creating content more. So I think it will be easier to put some on my personal though like I'm creating tons of content but for uh, Microsoft channels yeah so so yeah so I don't want to play necessarily that video but um, it was pretty cool it was uh, with Daniel and Kartik and uh, they, they, they show like they had stuff prepared, obviously, right? They only have like half an hour to 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 demo so much, so like it go really fast. But uh, they do uh, they expose an API that exists. There's an API for Chuck Norris joke, so they do that. They expose that, and after that, they have something for like uh, some control, mm -hmm. and they show that again. So they show from Visual Studio Code where I skip too fast. Visual Studio Code, there's an extension. There's um, a CLI, uh, and then they publish stuff. So I was like, "Hey, I want to want to play around with that." Um, so I'm thinking we could do many different things. I think I will open all the link they have. There's a few links in there, right? So I will open all of that, kind of explore. And I today I was like thinking, finishing my coffee in the morning. I was like, oh what should I build? Like, should I pick any API? Like I, I know with back with uh, Jason Han, we were using a uh, trivia uh, API. I was like, oh, we could use that. But then I'm, I'm sure there's already tons of people that did that. And I was like, oh, maybe I could use the uh, URL shortener since, you know, streams, Cloudy's all know, like Cloudy's by the way, <laughs> that's how I call you. Since everything is about cloud on this channel, I name you Cloudy's. I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> should should have said that eventually but yeah so uh so i thought we could expose so we build a url shortener so i have like now a bunch of url short url so i could build 
a connector to that and then we, we will be able to build UI, I don't know, like phone app to create a new URL or maybe see your stat and stuff like that. So I think that could be cool. And you know, it's different. Uh, and like that will also uh, could be used for like in that environment, that URL shortener environment. Um, so that was maybe that's what we'll be doing. What do you think, chat? Or, or maybe you have a better idea. Let me know. So let's go full like this. Why are you not showing all my screen? Part of my screen is missing. Why? Why is it? Yeah. Mm hmm. -hmm. I see it all here. Ah, I picked the wrong one. That's why. That's better. And now if I go, let's go all the screens. Yeah, why? So this one should be like this then. Now let's move that here. Ah. Some devices, my camera and the stream deck doesn't like to pass through a hub. And I'm using, uh, how do you call that? A switch? Yeah, a switch, I think, to share the screens and like bunch of ports between different computer, like my war computer and like my personal computer and uh camera doesn't follow very well so i need to find a plug but i think every time i pick a port like a usb port if i'm not picking the same one it changed the settings or maybe it's me and i'm just like really bad at it so let's bring that one again there it is cool so left middle right excellent that was good. That was good. What's that? Oh, that's cool. With my uh, white background. Okay, cool. So many s movement. Let's get serious. Let's get working. Okay, so uh, mouse again. Oops. Voila. So Power Platform Tool extension. Let's have a look. Power Platform CLI. Oh, so it's two things. I thought it was the same things. Cool. Uh, low code application development. I think we want to know that. GitHub Action. Let's have a look. Uh, Azure DevOps Power Platform. We won't play with Azure DevOps though. Let's have a look so we know it exists. Uh, and happen a day. Oh, maybe we can follow if there's a um, stuff and uh, ebook fusion development approach building app let's have a look okay so we have all that oh uh you know what i will do this i'm not sure how the chat will like that let's do this i will do add them one by one Just wanna make sure we have that in the show notes. And if you wanna click on it, though, like the URL is there for like the, um, I put the URL for the, the video, right? So you still have all that, but just in case, nope. I need to do note first. Okay. This, the GitHub action. Is it GitHub Action to push to the Power Platform? That would be good. Mm -hmm. App in a day. Mm -hmm. 
book. And why not the last one? Transform business. I feel like... I don't know. I may not focus on that today, but it could be good. Okay, so we have all that now. I've been spamming the chat. So let's have a look. Power tool. Work to create power platform solution packages. Manage the power platform environments. And the edit power apps portal. Oh, wait, there's one thing I forgot to do. Set up my environment on this computer for power platform. That would be inter interesting. The power platform extension make it easy to manage power platform environments. So I saw in the demo they are creating dev environments. I have no idea. I've been not a big user of Power Platform, but I know I think if I want to create stuff for it, I will need to learn all of, all of that. It's kind of exciting though. It's like a bunch of new stuff to learn, right? Uh, and I like to learn, definitely like to learn. So, uh, and allow the developer to create, build, deploy. Okay, that's cool. And installing this extension will also make the list. Okay, so that's why. I would. So if you install one, I will also install the other one, but you could install just the other one. Okay, so I think we'll we'll in definitely install that. Um, what is Microsoft Power Platform CLI? Oh, that's cool. I wish I could minimize that. Can I? Nope. Can I? Okay, so the, the one was the extension. Here it's more what it is to install. Uh, huh? So I could install it to Visual Studio Code or I could just like, I'm assuming it's available to WinGet. I wonder if it works on Linux. That would be interesting because I'm on Linux. Maybe, maybe I'm like, maybe I, uh, what's the expression? Paint myself in the corner. Is it an expression? Does it make sense for you? <laughs> you know, when like against the wall, I don't know like uh, to translate that uh, expression, but maybe I put myself in a situation where it will be extremely difficult because I'm on Linux and it's, but I think power platform should be cross platform. If I'm not mistaken. We'll have fun. Otherwise we'll, we'll definitely have fun. We can build the, uh, the, I don't think building the connector will be a problem anyway. Uh, okay, so that's about the extension. Cool. Cool. So that's the logo we're looking for after, excellent. Uh, check the final, so we could do PAC is the acronym for power. I don't know, the A is like, I don't know, because they didn't want to do a PPC. Power platform CLI, but what's the A? I don't know. Oh, there's all the commands. Okay, so we'll keep that here, but uh, I'm guessing if you do pack uh, and then help, you'll have all the details. Great, now let's go. What was the other one? Was a low code application development on Azure. Oh, what was the link? The third one, one, two, three, low code application development. Oh, is it some kind of a... Uh... I was expecting kind of a tutorial, but that's cool. Okay, it's because you mix all the, so you could have like a web mobile stuff, customize the business. Okay, so it's kind of use case and bunch of docs to use. You have the solution architecture, art, art, blah, 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 blah. art 
architecture. Okay, okay, okay. That was that was that was something, right? Okay, so that's great. Uh, I don't think I want that now. Like the URL shortener is an Azure function, but I don't think we want that now. Okay, uh, Power Platform. So that was the Git. Yeah, GitHub action. Oh, I'm hiding it. Let's prank. Move in the other corner. Excellent. Thank you. So one, two, three. So Power Platform. Oh, Action Labs. Oh, so now they have their own GitHub action. That's cool. Power Platform Action Lab. This project contains simple workflow that the GitHub action for Microsoft Power Platform. This workflow illustrates how you can export a solution from a development environment, generate the build artifact to map. Wonderful. So, oh, 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 that's cool. So we build something. It's really the, how they call that? The life circle? How they call that application life circle? A-L-S? Is it A-L-S? Application life circle? C? That's cool. Okay, so now it's possible to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking to my manager yesterday and he mentioned that yeah alm application live circle management cool oh yeah let's start this i want to come back to that that would be cool yeah because obviously when we will find something we'll be able to deploy that again and again and again uh, if we have a connector for the url shortener you know, you you know, if you know the URL shirt, if you've been there a little while, you know how I like to make it easy on my users. Uh, and like for me, it's part of like when you build, you need to think about your user and like make it easy or have the documentation to make them comfortable using your solution. Uh, so that would be cool. That would be cool. Uh, Power app simple. Oh, okay, so that was the app in a day, right? No, that was the Azure DevOps and Power Platform. Okay, oh, it's okay, that's perfect. So they explain a bit more. That's cool. Uh, yeah, let's start that too. We'll definitely come back to it. That's nice. I'll probably need to change my profile. <sighs> Great. Oh, look at that. There's a learning pad. Create a machine ordering. Uh, what? Create a machine ordering app with Power App Online Workshop. It's a learning pad. What's a machine ordering app? To make orders, like order food? <laughs> I don't understand what it is. Try to use Power Automate, but couldn't figure out a way to load it extremely from a command line. You know how? Oh, from our command line? Hmm. Probably it's a good question. No, like from the top of my head, I don't know. I've like I've been using Logic Apps for how many years? More than ten. Let's put it that way. Um, so when I have the choice between Power Automate and Logic App, kind of eighty percent, nine ninety percent of the time I go Logic App, just because that's where I'm comfortable. I know what I can do and like had stuff. Uh, though my colleague, uh, some want to try Power Automate, some prefer Power Automate. Uh, so like I start playing it a lot with it and they are very similar, right? Power Automate is built on top of, of, of uh, Logic App, 
One is sitting in the Office 365, the other one in Azure. So depending on like what the subscription you have, you will you will use one. Um, I'm guessing you could do that. You could create. Um, And you want the terminal. You don't want like an icon or something like that. Because you could create just like a one button app, right? That start your your stuff. Uh, otherwise, from the term, I know for a logic app, what you could do in from the terminal would be to have some kind of a little script that do like a call, an HTTP call. So you could also do that in Power Automate. But I think there's a easiest way to do that yeah you could do an app i think see like i see that like i, I didn't try it but you could do an app that do a you know say url or like a, a http call and that will trigger your what's so like your automation like what's the trigger or like nothing is built and like you need to define that trigger so you could call it yeah, probably that, right? So yeah, HTTP would be a way. I want to hook it up to a voice command. Ooh, interesting. Uh, yeah. Well, I know I used it in the past with the chatbot. So we build... Um, let me switch here environment because I know when I'm uh, playing with Microsoft um, repo since like I work at Microsoft, sometimes like it acts, it requests me to have like to be on my like work machine. So like I create a user where it's not connected to Microsoft so I could stream just like you. Yeah, like HTTP, I'm pretty sure, though, I think that connector might be a premium connector. But I'm pretty sure there's a way. How did we call that? That was... Was it DevRel, DevRel, but... No. about how, how we call that oh yeah no now I'm uh... no that's not what I want I want in Microsoft Oh, we call that thing. Or was it in my subscription? Oh, Bitbot. Bitbot. Yeah. That's the one we we created. <laughs> yeah, so we use Teams to, uh, and then like with the Power Virtual Agent, we were calling some Power Automate to want to execute query inside Azure DevOps and do a bunch of different things. Uh, but yeah. So you can have a look to that, but I think if you just want to do it through a HTTP call, that, that, that should work. I was looking for the name the other day, talking again to my manager, and I was like, yeah, we did like something. It was for Learn TV. We want to create some kind of a helper for people to know when their show was and like sharing a bunch of stuff. 
That was cool. Okay, so create a machine ordering app with okay. Uh, so in this learning path, you will create an end whoop, ends on activity using Microsoft Power Platform. You will build a solution to manage the process for ordering coffee machine to various. Oh, okay. So yeah, so a machine ordering. So you're ordering coffee machine. I was like, are we create a VM and then order stuff? The learning path is designed for use the app in a day and structured led course. Okay, that's cool. I'm not sure I want to do that though, but uh, maybe there's a module for connectors. Create a dataverse. Yeah, so that could be cool. Like the create. Yeah, maybe we need to um, search connector. Because like I said, I don't know how to do that. I am pretty sure I saw something. Am I connected? Let's connect. Let's look the oh so the book fusion. Fusion development. So fusion is when you have pro dev and uh, they call that citizen developer. Well, I like hopefully I uh I, we I learn more about it and I like but you know when you have something show come back and uh, show us stream every Friday I'll be happy to explore that. So fusion is yeah so it's when you have pro dev so developer and citizen developer people using the power platform. Feel like that's just a regular team but they made a word for it. Okay, approach building an app using Power App. Shane is that? God damn, man. Matt is there too as a review. Okay. How do I get the book? How do I get the book? Published by blah 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 blah. Okay, so it's an online book. So chapter one. Oh, okay, okay. Create, creating an API uh, and publishing an API in Azure. Define your, no, but I wanna create a connector. I know we can do it. I saw another video uh, and they were wrapping up using the uh, API management. Let me sign on here. Cool. Uh, use cups and connector. Yeah, I don't want to use it. I want to create one. Uh, integrate this stuff flow. That's when you record your screen. That's not what Marcus wants. I was like, for a second, I thought, oh, Marcus, desktop flow. But no, that's not what you want. Um, Use Teams connector, no. Introduction to Logic App, no. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, get started with custom connector in Power Automate. Configure custom connector with authentication. Create trigger for custom connector Power mm -hmm. Automate. Build a custom connector. Yeah, voila. voila, that's what we want. That's what we want. Guess I was. But guess I was one of them back in the day with Microsoft Access. <laughs> if 
GPU knew everything I did with access. Once I work on a project and we had so many items, objects, I forgot like what's the the okay nomenclature to call that. But we had so many, I think it was object. I think it was called object. So many things inside access that we needed to build a second access app and then like passing from one to the other inside the app. That's how far I pushed it. Um, get started with custom connector. That could be interesting. Create a trigger. That could be interesting, but I think build your custom connector. That's what I want. So I think in order, I think we want to do something like this. What do you think? We'll start with that one. Will it be long? Oh, it's seven modules. I don't want to do like a, I, I don't want to have like a read reading stream. I thought it would be like coding. Get started with custom connector. Should we jump steps? <laughs> should, we, should, should we skip some parts? I feel like I shouldn't. Uh, that's pretty cool, but I'm pretty sure I don't want to install that on my uh, main. I want to, when I'm building in my environment, in my dev container. Well, that I can close it. I won't use it today. Uh, that, I'm not there yet. That that was the search. So I think we can start with that. Uh, I should add it. Power platform. Yeah, yesterday I did that. Uh, so that's a learning path. Is that one also a learning path? No, that's a module. Right? Let's build a custom connection. Oh, okay, so it's part of that other one. Okay, so I can create that and that's also part. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, okay, so get started and then there's configure custom connector, okay, and then like create trigger and then okay, and the, the one I want to do is the last one. Oh no, okay, so build is the learning path and you know what? Let's skip through that. Not skip, skim. Let's go through that quickly and we'll see and we'll we'll start messing around um and yeah well we're, we're learning right that was the goal anyway so let's try that let's start introduction cool so blah 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 there's an api there's a connector it's a wrapper right so we understand that that the api is existing it must be existing already in there like the api has a functionality you have like a swagger file maybe to define that to expose the definition that's one thing the the URL shortener doesn't have, so maybe I will need to do that. And after that, you're wrapping up a layer and that will be a connector that's simplified, that will easy be connected, hooked to Power Platform. And like in that Power Platform, you have Power Automate, Power Apps and Logic Apps. Oh, they put Logic Apps in there too. Okay, that's cool. So a connector is a proxy. Oh, okay, yeah, a wrapper. Cool, excellent. I didn't read before so identity and the beauty of it right now is because the the URL shortener is in the in between two state right now uh, I we could use it without any authentication uh, so that will ease our process of creating something like it will create a very unsecure but just to learn that's perfect right you don't battle with security Uh, describe the API for Power Apps, Power Automate, Discover, Trigger. You must identify them, create your custom connector. Okay. Uh huh. Yep, 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 yep. Describe the connector. The, of course, like if you're doing a wrapper, you need to have a lot of text to explain what it is and things like that. Uh, so you can manually create in the portal when using this approach. Uh, you will use an API documentation as an example. Oh, okay, so I could use that straight. Let's, you know, like there's one thing I want to try it and um, is, uh, I forgot the URL for that. Make, make dot our apps. <laughs> it 
Dot.com or apps power. Forgot what it is. No, it looks like it. Sorry, you need to sign up. Yeah. I would like to sign up, please. Why you're telling me I'm already signing sign up? I didn't sign up. One more. I would like oh no. I'd like to sign up, please. I go here, I will be signing up again with that same account. Yeah. It should have like, would you like to sign off with something else? Is there a logout page? Let's go private mode. So now I need to access one of my sign in, but I think I create one. So I have a, a uh, I'm looking for my words, a trial environment, but I think I don't have the credential on that computer. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I don't. Uh, let's get the new version of my file. Oh, sorry. Take a few seconds here. Um, I'm going to here. That's the file I want. Cool. So now we'll go here and we'll put it there. Can I? Oh, because it's open? No, it's not open. So let's delete. Why are you not working the way I want? Okay. Uh, let's close that one. I'm sorry. Takes longer than I thought. Let's open a new window. So I want to copy a file from here to there. Yeah. Did I download the file? Should go like this so at least uh, you don't see like half a screen. I wanna download this file. Ah, I didn't save it. Cool, so now I have it. So let's open this and open that. So now here. I just did, 
I just did download it. Okay, it's here. Control C. And I control V there. And I replace that. And now if I do this. Nope, that's not what I want to open. It's this tool. That would be hard to create stuff if I don't have access to my um, I'm sorry I'm still looking that's not what I want is it that one So right now I'm pa I'm going through my uh, so I'm using KeePass and I know I did create so uh, I created trial but I did it when I was on another computer and now I'm I'm using KeePass to try to see if I saved it I'm pretty sure I did but maybe I didn't push that in my uh, global environment so now I'm just looking do I have I think maybe it was that one. doesn't look like that one oh man oh no I think it's that one yes yes okay let's give it a try have to factor of course <laughs> yeah frank get out of my phone uh do you want to stay sign in yeah and i think i got it yay after five minutes yay and i need a way to disconnect from here Nope. I don't want to flush all my cookies. Maybe I need to flush this, just the one from here. Okay, so um, here we have one. So this... I don't think I need that anymore. Cool. So we have, and I can close my password manager and those windows and this. 
put that back here. There it is. We're back to normal. Okay. So we have that. Yay. So that's my environment, my dev environment. Okay, cool. So um, yeah, you could manually create one in the portal. Oh, I don't know that. So API. Create. Oh, but now I'm in our apps. I'm guessing I will need to be. I'm not even reading stuff, right? Like it's really bad. Card chatbot, ad builder. Should read. I just wanna. I just wanna have fun. <laughs> just trying. Rushing it. Deliver SharePoint, SQL, Excel, images, Figma. Let's go. Hi. Hi. Hey, who's there? Stefan is here. Hello, Stefan. How are you? Okay. Ah, you know, oh, connectors. Connection. You haven't created any connection yet. Gonna make connection. Let's try to do make a connection. Okay. So I'm here I'm making connection. But I'm in Power Apps. Power platform. Maybe I need to go in the. Uh, maybe I need to to read the stuff first. Power automate. Uh, admin center. So here, if I do that, okay. Hello, Frank. Hello, platform. Ready for the weekend? I see you do now. Power it. <laughs> right yeah well like i want i think i want to i will be in in between i think that's where i think i will i'm i'm excited and today i'm like very excited so i'm having a lot of issue try to pace myself and read the duck and i just want to do it uh but i think i will like i want to build connectors so even for the url shortener we could build a connector so it could be easily consume through uh, many different apps or logic apps or Power Automate or other things. I think that could be interesting. So that was one thing I, I wanted to uh, give it a try. Uh, okay. Um, let's try this. So that's my admin center. No. And here, data, table, connection. Oh, custom connector. Custom connector will live here. Create a custom connector. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Oh, that's cool. So I could create so from an open API connection, that's the swagger thing, right? But I don't have a swagger, I think. Yeah. Well, uh... Yeah. Oh, I, you know what? That that would be good. I should do that for like uh, having an open API definition for the URL shortener. I think that would be good. I'm dancing. Okay, uh, let's from scratch what it is. Create from scratch. So this topic is part of the tutorial. Create a connector, Azure, Logic App, blah, 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 blah. Prerequisite. API key. Cognitive services. What? What? To create a custom connector, you must describe the API you want to connect to. So the connector understand the API. Uh, operation, data structure, topic, postman collection. Yeah, that's right. Without you create a custom connection from scratch without using Postman collection or API definition. We could use Postman too. Do I have Postman installed on that machine? I think I don't. I think I have the.
Oh, uh, I think I have. Uh, what? No, that's not what I wanna. I wanna go here. Booms, come on. But I think it will. Oh, Why have? <laughs> Why do I have so much trouble to see my menu? I see it down below, so you don't see it. I have. I have insomnia. I wonder if that will work with insomnia. I don't have postman on this machine. Okay. Uh, well, we could try with the postman collection. I mean, I can install postman, like make a few quer query. You can create a custom directly from an API management. From API, uh, you mean Azure API management? But nothing is exposed. Yeah, I saw a video from, oh, that was a very cool video. Uh, I forgot from who? Sarah, was it Sarah? I forgot her name, but that was a cool video. She was wrapping it, oh, yeah, like, um, anyway, it was on YouTube. It was about exposing connector and she was exposing What was she exposing? Some API from API management then to our apps, I think. New custom connector. I want to create from blank, from Azure service. Okay, let's give it a try. So uh, I will go. Here, I will go to GitHub. And I will go with my URL shortener. I will deploy it. Where is it? I thought we had the button from here. We don't. Okay. Boom. Yeah, just want to deploy it. Or maybe in the docs. Nope. Wiki. Nope. Oh, damn it. Okay, okay. I will go with my other browser. There it is. Boom. Let's close that. Let's close that. So step by step and the step is deploy how are you stefan how was your week uh so uh let's create a new resource group we'll call that um pack local let's say low code low code uh partner Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I saw like so you missed the beginning. Um, I was looking at this video yesterday uh, from Code Space with uh, Kat, Kat, uh, Kartik and Daniel, uh, and like uh, in. Daniel's demo is using the Chuck Norris, so I'm guessing like that's the thing you said he's following. You he mentioned that was kind of a a, a joke thing. Yeah, and the uh, creating from scratch. I think I have that open somewhere. Yeah. Um. It's just that when we do this, 
they're talking about like having an API key for cognitive services. Like, I don't want to do that necessarily. Okay. And then they're using, the... yeah. So, uh, no, let's, let's give it a try. So, uh, I want to do it with the URL shortener if I can do it. Oh, we'll just try it. Okay, you don't need an API key. Well, I think if I deploy that here, I won't need it also. So, low code uh, shortener tool. I don't need this. That's good, that's good. Let's keep it like that. And if it doesn't work, uh, we'll definitely uh, give it a, a try. But maybe I could try the um, the preview uh, Azure service. This will create the resource. So that's for later. That's let's keep that. I don't need that for now. That's we have the power our stuff open. So connections. Create. So in Power Apps. That's the thing I'm like it's unclear for me. I would like to create a connector for this. But it looks like I need to create it for here. Is it because this will then populate the table in the dataverse? Is it dataverse? The database for power, like where the, the tables are living? And then I can build an app on top of that. Connections. I thought connections was what I, I, I wanted, but it looked like it's not. Discover all. All right, tables, chatbot, flow, AI, solution, arts, connection, I read, uh, custom. Yeah. Let's try Azure service here. You need an active Azure? I have one. I need to connect to um, portal.azure.com. Oh, look at that. I have. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, I have one. Why don't you? Why don't you see it? You need an active Azure subscription. Do I have a subscription here? I don't know. I don't. Uh, oh man, that's... I was not prepared for that. I shouldn't need to. So if I don't use, so if I do this and I from blank, I think it will be good. Connector name. Test AZ or short, AZ short. Cool. It's using HTTP. What's the host? The host is, let's go here, still deploying. 
And and like you're, you're totally, 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 totally right, uh, Stefan. Like I should follow your instruction and everything. I just want to mess around with my stuff. Go in here and here, data custom connector. So I don't have an, a subscription, so we can close that. I would like to have that, yeah. Yeah, so. Oh, did I just close where I was? Custom connector from blank. Well, I think I did create one, right? If I refresh. Did I not just create one? Where I was? I thought we just did one. I didn't save. License is a tricky thing. You need a real premium user connection or your you have it or use a developer environment. You know, that's a developer environment. That's a, the trial thing. How do I know my environment right now? Is it here? I could change the theme. So I like purple for now. Uh, okay, let's close that. Let's do this. Let's create from blank. Look like you're a ninja of a power platform, Mr. Stefan. That's why you were so excited that I start doing stuff like that. <laughs> I'm in your... I'm in your... Uh, jam. Yes. Awesome. So I should invite you as a, a co-host, put you in the cloud somewhere. So environment. So I need to create a new environment. So Frank Boucher environment. Developer. So how do I know? So I have one, but how do I know here that I'm in that environment? Oh, default. So I need to change it. Now I'm in my dev environment. Aha. Aha. Cool. Correct. Excellent. Approved by Stefan. And Stefan, for those who don't know, is the HYFSS7. It's too complicated to say. Why? Does it mean anything? That name? I always call you Stefan. <laughs> this is too many letters for me to say correctly in a row. Now that you know me, I can I can say that. You know, like it's not nothing bad. Okay. Connector name, low code, shortener, shortener, cool, uh, Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't finish because I didn't have a. Doesn't mean anything. Was a random generator. Okay, and you kept it. That's cool. Okay, we finally have the resources. Excellent. So uh, let's open this. And now we have our Azure functions. Let's copy that. So that will be our host. Whoops, where I am? I'm in the purple one here. So that's our host. 
right? And base URL is that. I think now base URL should be API. Security. Do I need an API key? Yes. Um, too many windows open. Too many windows open. So if I'm here, I need to go an API key and I shouldn't be showing that. So let's, sorry guys, sorry cloudies. Uh, let's go API key. Let's, uh, no, I don't want to renew them. I just want to. Um, oops, here. Use with required API generated, huh? okay. And the query. Parameter label, parameter name. Uh, and what's the parameter value? That's weird. Is the clapping coming from the music? How's the sound? Like I use a uh, noise reduction stuff today. So in my mic, you shouldn't hear the music from my mic, but really through the, sp the speakers. The host, you need to set it if, uh, if you, what? The host, you need to see if you save it. Normally, isn't without HPS. Okay. Um, let's try that for now. Let's go back here. You say without HTTP, like that. Let's go no authentication for now. We'll see how it goes. Code. What? Paste your code in the windows below manually or clicking upload button below. What? Oh. That's not what I want to do. Code enable. Code disable. Code enable. I don't understand. Okay. That's that's a weird interface. Um This step is optional. Okay, if I want to change stuff. No, no, no. Create a connector. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to change anything. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I should have brought you back. We're back here. Boom. Oh, I should go here. I did save it, so it should close. Oh, look at that. We have a connector. How does it know what? But I didn't. How does it know? The definition action i need to define some action <coughs> sorry cool so now let's say mm -hmm. 
Uh, I forgot. If I come here and I check the code. Uh -huh. the function and we go in program. No, it's in function. So let's say, let's start by redirect, right? So redirect, we're expecting to be URL redirect. So let's, and it's with then the path. So let's do this description. This is the Unix string used to identify an operation. This. Uh huh. Requests. It defined the pre requirement needed in order to make the request. Describe in a single operation. Parameter, unique parameters, definition, location. Okay. Whoa. So it's a get. And it will be. It will be. Whoops. <laughs> the thing I didn't want to show you, I did show you. But I will scrap everything after anyway. Uh, oh, there it is. So it will be. Oh, do, can I go functions? That would be cool. So this, oh, I have the function key I could be using. If I do this code and test, I think I will have the full URL. I'm pretty sure it's like API and stuff, but okay. So here now, if I go back to this, I think it will be this and then API then URL redirect, URL redirect. And after that, I need the parameter. How, how do I specify the parameter? Is it like this? How do you, how do you specify the, in the body? No, it needs to be in the URL. The URL shortener is using query string. Mm API definition. So I could create one. I didn't create one, but I could have done with Swagger. Cool. I should do that. Is there a way to do it? Steph? Stefan? Sorry. We're already buddies calling you Steph.
That's a problem. So we'll have... Okay. So that's why I need to, to do the learning path first, to learn how to consume. But like, it must be possible to do it. Uh, that's the only exception, the shortener. Do we need... Well, okay, so let's assume, okay, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. So that's the exception. The URL redirect is the exception. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's add one, okay? So if I go in uh, functions, we add URL create. Integration. Oh, is it here? Okay, let's go back to the Uh, here, this is what I want. Okay, so we create. Let's go back here. We'll create. We'll create stuff through here. So here, I'm using, like, I'm expecting an object. URL, title, vanity, excellent. So we'll have the input. Cool, so let's create that. So here it's URL create. So let's go back here. So it's not redirect, it's create. And here it's create a short URL from a long URL. Cool. Uh, operation ID is URL create visibility visibility none important I don't know what it is request okay so the URL will be this I don't understand why I need to specify the URL it's a forgot what it was it's this and then slash api slash create url create url yes and it's uh it's a get or a post okay Let's take this. So let's go back. So let's do a get. Oh no, okay, let's do a post. <laughs> cool, now JSON. Let's uh, content type. I would, I, I'm just copying from the statement up content type so I don't do any application application slash JSON and uh, accept application slash JSON voila so I can move this put it here cool so now here let's build that so we need this no no, 
Ah! Huh. whatever uh, so it's URL but I don't want to define them let's go uh, with uh, HTTP s slash slash behind my cloud dot com And after that, let's just create that simple. Uh, and now we need the URL and it will be a post and I need to copy it again because somehow it deleted this. So it was slash API slash create URL. Cool. So now we have everything. Why? import close if I do close will it save it no huh? import from simple validation path not defined Is it like this? Pat not the font URL. No, 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 no. You need to define the parameter with language string. Oh, okay. But here it was saying this. But it's import from a sample. Right? So it's this API and then create URL. And then my JSON was really. URL or was it long URL? No, it's URL and then like whatever, right? Not valid. Why oh, it's not valid? Because I didn't specify this. Body is not a valid JSON. Oh, here, you're right. But I cannot import.
put a post, this URL, that header, that body, but doesn't want me to import it. Why can I not import it? That's not cool. Ah, okay, see here, it says like you, but that was not, okay, okay, okay. So like, feel like that was a mistake. The example doesn't match what they really want. So URL is a string. Uh, no, like how do you do that again? Yeah. Let's the schema, right? They won't. Um, Jason. I don't know, I want the online tool, please. Online. That's what it won't. The body is the payload that happened to the HP request. They can only be one by buddy. I don't understand. Maybe it's the URL. Why can you import the URL? Oh, the full URL, you mean? Instead of. is a pain. Let's let's keep it ultra simple yeah so maybe that's not is it trying to connect to that
Yeah, but I cannot import it. So if it's trying to connect to that thing, maybe like I'm missing something here. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm missing something. Yeah, yeah, leave. It's not connecting. Well, if it's not connecting, I have a post. I didn't touch header. I just put like a dummy URL, but import is blocked. Okay, now it is. Okay, cool. That was weird. Import. Yay. Okay, path. Path is used together, blah, blah, blah. Query, query parameter or append to URL. See, it was possible. Query parameter or append to URL. The parameter is ID. Body. Okay, response. It's defined the shape of your response. Okay, add a default response. And our default response is this. Update. If the VS Code extension helped to do that, that would be that would be good because that's not pleasant. Maybe because I'm Zoom. Maybe because I'm like I don't know. Okay, so we have a connector. Now I want to use it in Power App, so I will create a new Power App, blank app, uh, Canva app. Create a form. How do I put stuff on my form? Insert. I want uh, I want input text. Cool. And I want a button. Button. Cool. Let's make that thing longer. I'm assuming it should stay inside our uh, form. Right? Cool. Now, if I double click that. No? How do I add my connector to my app? Components. New components. Add panel. Connect to data. No, I want a connector. Custom. Nope. Custom. Component. Nope. And time is flying. Time is flying. Look like I will have to do a lot of reading. No, it's in connecting. Where is connecting? Connect to data. Add data. Account table connectors. See all the connectors. 
uh, if I do, uh, how do we call it again? Custom connector. Forgot how we called it. Okay, let's let's open a new tab. So we could go back to our connectors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just want to go back to my connector, please. Uh, it was connections, right? No, it was not connection. It was connectors. Discover all. Custom connector. We named it a oh, local shortener. Yeah, because, you know, it's easy to remember. Okay, so add data, right? You say data. So now if I do this, yeah, it's there with a very personalized icon. I lost it again. I hate that interface. <laughs> oh my God. Add data. I'm sorry, I'm complaining. I shouldn't, I should give it a chance. Okay, so I'm doing this. And now I need premium? Why do I need premium? I didn't set it to premium. Connect. Oh no no, I could I could use a power apps per user plan, power apps, go plan record during play by uh, whatever. I just wanna premium. An app running premium feature line connector when cool. So now I have this. How do I use it? Do I need to drag it? Add data. Add item. I connect. Okay, I want to connect to this. <sighs> Insert. button this when click text button it's it visible paddling color where do i say advance maybe no on select on data tooltip connection design custom connector are always premium it should work in the dev oh yeah okay cool but Custom property, new custom property. do I like what's the name of that control and how can I refer to it like I'm thinking as a code guy it's so bad okay so I have this and I have my button and now I need to click on it in the ethics formula. And that's supposed to be easier than coding? It's a button. Did 
I miss something? On action, select, on, on select, false, button, text, tooltip, language. I feel like it should be at top, right? Like I'm... Sorry, Stefan, you must be yelling on your side. Frank, no! MSL is not easier, but you don't need to code. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so now here, that's my text. It's the name is text input two. Okay. Let's keep it that way. So now I know it's text input two. And now button two, because the one is not visible, but I don't see them anymore. Okay, so FX, like an Excel. Yeah. I don't do a fix function in Excel, but I don't see it here. So I have like bunch of visuals stuff. So it does it look like it's in properties? Oh, and at the top. Okay. So how do I call my connector? To call the custom connector API, you call it in the button press action. Okay, now I'm on select. I just discover the top bar. Wonderful. And I'm guessing like if you're used to work a lot in Excel, that like your reflex will be to go there. For me, since like I'm in Visual Studio and all those things, it wasn't the bottom right. So I think it's it's perfectly made for like the specific uh, audience then. Okay, so uh, button press. On press button. On select. I'm, I select the button. Disable color, fill, focus, found a italic, on select, padding, 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 size, straight, true. Nope, it's not there. Fill, no, no fill. Oh, do I need to type it? Button? Okay, unselect. So I'm here in advance. I feel like it, it's not on advance. Okay, then unselect, just type the name of the custom connector as formula in the FX. It was low code. Oh, maybe is there here action just <laughs> start typing sir yes sir low doesn't want me to type low code shortener create cool now I need to to do what? What go between parentheses? The URL text. Okay, how do I get the value? Am I doing just like a input? Put. How? What was the name again on, of that thing? It was input text two. Add the value 
either are coded or use the f yeah that's what i'm trying to do oh maybe it's a capital i yeah okay input i think it was input right put Always oh, text input, maybe? Yes, text input two. And then texts. Oh my god. Now it's all scribbly gling bling bling. Okay. It doesn't like that. I need the URL. Okay. URL. Like that. But still doesn't work to do that. save on select should be on on press The URL create as some invalid argument. URL is not recognized. Should, should it be between uh, quotes? Does it need to be like in between everything between curly brackets should it be something like this like I'm building a JSON ah look like that's what it's expecting cool okay so I need I'm building the okay makes sense whatever and now how can I run that can I just why don't I Preview, cannot preview it. Publish, well, I would like to try it before. Can I, I don't want to, can I run it just like, like, you know, play F5 kind of thing? How do you test it? Do you need absolutely to? said yes nothing happens nothing is happening my time is past publish publish this version yes then just and I have no indication and I cannot play it Publish. This version of your app will be published in an environment, blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay. So now I need to go here, home, apps, test shortener. Ah. Okay, cool. So uh, let's... Right. this click my button and now did it create <laughs> I'm stupid I didn't make any feedback so I don't know how to test it damn it
okay let's go here let's go in here uh we created this in the low code shortener we should have a storage uh let's go in table there's no table so nothing happened nothing is happening <laughs> and that's what conclude our first try i love it that's great i like you know, like I'm rushing it super quick. Um, well, thank you all. <laughs> thank you, Stefan, for your Stefan, for your Stefan, for your time with me today. <laughs> I hope you didn't lust too many uh, hair pulling them out. Uh, I will do my due diligence, follow the learning path. I was just trying to rush it. So of course, it doesn't work. Of course, I don't know where to click and add stuff. Duh. Uh, and I'm like a pro dev, so I feel like things visually are not where I expect. But guess what? I really want to make sense of all of that. And like maybe the URL was not good, even the, the URL. Maybe it doesn't work. So we'll figure that out. I should have tested the URL first. Um, it's probably that. Who landed? That's awesome. So uh, we'll do my due diligence and you know what? Next week we'll come back and I will be prepared. I will, I will know more. So I will be able to share my learning and share what we did wrong. So I won't fix that uh, for during the week. I will learn building another one so we can, we can come back here and fix it uh, because it's probably the URL. It's probably some minor little things kind of rushing it. So that's great. I'm happy though to have test all that. No frabber this week. Nope, I didn't see him. It's good, you know. Like he had enough of my face. <laughs> so I wish you all a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Come back. We'll fix that thing, and we'll have some fun. Bye bye. And now I need to stop it. Changing everything. Bye.